Welcome to the Environmental Learning Center with Lake Metro Parks. My name is Heather Freeman and I'm here to do my favorite experiment called Elephant Toothpaste. With this experiment we're going to be using some harsher chemicals so if you notice I'm already wearing some protective equipment. I got my gloves, my goggles, and a lab coat. So the chemicals that we are using are, is hydrogen peroxide. This is not the typical one you would get at your grocery store. It's a lot stronger. Some other ingredients that we are using, we got some yeast, got some food coloring, and we got Dawn dish soap. So we are gonna take our hydrogen peroxide and add about 300 milliliters into this graduated cylinder right here. And if you notice behind me, I got my chemical formula on the whiteboard. And if you notice, the two H2O, so H2O2 is our hydrogen peroxide. And typically hydrogen peroxide is reacting already to create water and oxygen, the 2H2O2, 2H2O and O2. But what we wanna do is speed things up. So what we are going to do is we're gonna take our yeast and some warm water and if you already noticed, I got it pre-mixed. We're gonna start by activating our yeast and let it sit. While we're waiting for that, we're gonna add about eight drops of our food coloring into here to add some color to make it look more like toothpaste. And then you want at least one tablespoon of dish soap in here. So that we can create some bubbles. I'll mix it all up down in the cylinder. Now I'm going to use this funnel to help me get all of the activated yeast into my graduated cylinder so that the catalyst can interact with the hydrogen peroxide to speed our process up. And we are going to see what happens in this experiment with the yeast and hydrogen peroxide. And look, a chemical reaction where H2O2 is forming water and oxygen, creating bubbles to create this toothpaste-like reaction. And if you were here, you could touch it and find that it also produces heat so it's an exothermic reaction. It's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and we look forward to having you in our lab again.